This is William Allen, and I want to show you just how rich a result one can get by using a search within groups. I want to search uh, for this term, microbiology. And as you can imagine, uh, what, there are uh, almost 12,000 results. And I want to narrow those somehow without having to go through all of those. Uh, one of the ways to do it is to search within groups. Let me point out that there are two groups tags up here. The one on the very top refers to my groups. That's not what I want. I want the one that appears just above the search term. And this will take me to groups that have something to do with microbiology. Let's take the first one. There are 651 items, and so I might want to narrow my search. Um, I'm going to paste in here sickle cell anemia. I have no idea if it has anything there, but let's try. One. I'm going to click on that image, and what's going to happen is it will take me to the uh, page of the person who submitted that photograph. And here it is. We can see the image. We can see the image a little larger if we wanted to. Uh, but you know what's interesting is that the author has not only identified what this is, but has provided a, a hyperlink here. Let's see what this does. Look at that. It takes me to a page where the author has, in fact, written a paper, published a paper on this particular ailment. Um, and so these groups, when you get into truly professional academic groups, very often you or your students can, uh, can get some extraordinarily helpful results.